Hi friends, Miss Hazel here. And Miss Kate. All right, today's project is um, a paper mache pretzel. I made a raspberry pretzel, and later on I'm gonna paint some sprinkles on it, but for right now I'm gonna show you how to make this really funny pretzel. I was looking for ideas online and I thought, what well, can I paper mache? And then somebody had done pretzels and I thought, oh, how fun, That's I can hilarious. do that. Yeah. I know, I love that. Miss Kate and I get ideas from other artists on the um, internet sometimes too, as I hope you artists are getting ideas from us. So I'm gonna teach you how to build, um, um, how to make a pretzel. So I've used two, you need some newspaper and tape. And then we use plaster strips, but there's lots of different ways to do paper mache. You can use gluey water, or you can make a paste out of flour and water. Again, lots of recipes online. But for today, we're gonna use plaster strips. So I'm gonna start with two pieces of newspaper, like a big one, Fold it in half, two of those. I'm gonna slip one of them inside of the other one so it stays kind of put. And I'm gonna put a little piece of tape to hold it because I tried this a couple times and this I found to be the easiest way. A Little bit of tape to make one big giant long piece of newspaper. There it is, my giant piece of one newspaper. And where do you get all that paper? Well, Miss Kate's brother, hi Tom, is a big newspaper reader and he saves all his newspapers for us. Thanks, Tom. And so um, that is where we get our newspaper. Yes. Okay, so um, now I've taped it together and I have a big long piece. And then I'm gonna just roll it, kind of making a big newspaper snake. Rolly, rolly, rolly. Doesn't have to be perfect because remember, you're gonna cover it with stuff. And I'm taping it. And I'm gonna put some more tape, and then put some more tape, and then put some more tape, and then, oh, look, it's all taped up in a nice and safe way, so it'll stay. I taped the ends. Okay, did you see my magic? I know, that was good magic. Now, I'm gonna to try to make a pretzel shape. So it's kind of round at the bottom, and then it comes and down, right, and then, I'm gonna put a little twist here, or maybe I'll put my tape there. Okay, starting again. Making my pretzel shape. There you okay, go. Like that, my pretzel shape. And then I'm gonna smush it down so it stays and smush it a little bit. Get my tape. Would it be easy to maybe put, like, rip off some pieces and put it on something yeah. that's not paper? Also, sometimes our friends that are making our art projects, they have partners that help them. Maybe mommies or big sisters. So this could also be, or you dads. could get some help, dads, uncles, grandmas, and grandpas help too. Yeah. So now we're gonna just kind of tape it so it looks like a pretzel. And if you've seen like fresh homemade pretzels, they all have different shapes. So ours is pretzel-ish, okay. And now, bum, ba -da bum look at that one. This one's a little sturdier because I taped it down long. So now I've got my pretzel and I'm ready to paper mache. Now I've got pa plaster strips. They're already kind of pre-cut, I like that. And I put them in one dish and then I've got my water here. So I don't wanna drip water onto my plaster strips um, because then they'll all um, dry up together. When you're working with plaster strips, you wanna be super careful. When you're done, all this little residual sort of plaster that's in the container, you don't want that to go down your drain. So I've set up a little hand washing station for myself. And then you can pour the water off the top. And when it dries, you can use a paper towel and get the plaster out of the container so it doesn't go down your sink because you wouldn't wanna plug up your house sink. Or even yeah. outside. Yeah, yeah. That's right. okay. so yeah, just get into the trash can. So All right, so here's my pretzel. I'm ready to go. I'm going to dip my plaster strip in. I think this plaster strip got wet. I'm going to get rid of it. These top guys got wet. Okay, I was not careful with my product. Here we go. I'm going to wipe it off a little bit. And I'm going to start wrapping it around my pretzel. Oh, that's good. Yeah, just like and that. Kind of smoothing out the and then plaster. smoothing it out. Because when you use plaster strips, if you if you rub it a little bit with your fingers, the holes disappear. And then dip it again so it's not super wet. And how many layers will you put on this hazel? You know, I think, Miss Kate, I'm just going to have one layer on my pretzel okay. because I want to hang my pretzel on the wall. And if I put too much plaster on it, it's going to be really big and really heavy, and I, and I don't think it'll work. 
So on this particular project, I'm thinking, as long as I cover all of my newspaper, I'm going to be good. Let's dip it in, get the extra water off, wrap it around my pretzel. There we go. And I'm just going to keep doing that like that till you cover the whole thing. You can kind of see up close. Like that. Miss Kate and I love to do paper mache. We try to do something whenever we can. I love a big mess. Miss Kate, yeah, how come you're not doing this one, no, Miss no, Kate? I've done every single one of them. Oh my gosh. Next time we do paper mache, Miss Kate's going to do it for us. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure I cover everything. And then I'm going to check the front and I'm going to check the back and I'm going to make sure my whole project is covered with paper mache. Then I'm going to let it dry outside for 24 hours because if you paint wet paper mache, the paint just kind of falls off with the plaster. So you need to make sure that it's when you're using plaster strip, it's all the way dry. So 24 hours, let it dry and then you can paint it. So now just imagine, choo choo choo, speed up the clock. And now we have my pretzel that I made yesterday and let it dry. And I've painted it with my pretzel is going to be raspberry. And I brought some brown paint that Miss Kate made for us. She likes to mix her paints. And now I'm just going to put some little chocolate jimmies on my pretzel. Mine is a dessert pretzel. If you're making a pretzel, yours could be a regular pretzel. Your pretzel could be like a rainbow pretzel. What kind of pretzel would you have, Miss Kate? Well, for an, a piece of art, I probably wouldn't just get a salted pretzel, but that's what I love the most. So you and could I'm going do. to that place, but there are places in malls. Maybe, oh, with those pretzels. Where, like, yeah, those are good. Oh my gosh. Oh my Oakland gosh. This is so yummy. Oh, it's my chocolate raspberry pretzel, but you get the idea. So you're free to decorate your delicious pretzel any way that you like. And I'm going to hold it up and when it dries, I'm going to hang it on the wall in my bedroom because um, I just think it's really fun. So that is how you will make a paper mache pretzel. Thank you for joining us here at Alameda Arts at YouTube. And if you like this, you could subscribe to us. And, and you can also follow us on Instagram at Alameda Arts Fun. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Bye, friends. See you next time.